Hi there, it's November 10th, 2016. Today we're going to go over how you can uh, split data apart in Sheets and combine it together. Um, let's start off with uh, combining text together. So sometimes you might be presented with data uh, where you might have a, uh, say, a first name in column A and a second, uh, a last name in column B. <clears throat> and maybe uh, for your purposes, you want that information inside of one cell. I'll show you a quick, uh, easy way you could do that. <clears throat> if we click on uh, this cell over here, um, we can start off as we do with any formula by uh, pressing an equals. And then we can click the first cell. Uh, so we'll click that. So it says equals A1. Now the key to combine multiple cells is using the uh, and sign. That's uh, shift seven. So if we click on that. So the next thing uh, after we want the first name, uh, you might think is the last name, but you actually want something between that and that, that's going to be a space. Uh, so in order to get a space, um, we can hit a quote, and then a space, and then a quote. Uh, so what's going to be included there is a, uh, a space, whatever's inside of the quotes. Uh, so at this point, uh, we would have the first name and a space. And now, of course, we need the last name. Uh, so in order to add the last name, uh, we do another and sign. And then we click on the next cell, uh, which will be B1. So our formula looks like equals A1 and a space and b1 so if we hit enter uh, we see that uh, we get the first name and last name in one cell uh, and if you want to uh, apply that to everything uh, all the other uh, rows you could click on the handle here click that and drag and if you let go that'll apply it uh, to every single row um, if you wanted to do say last name comma space first name you could just as easily do that we can uh, type on equals, just as we did uh, before. This time, though, we'll do the last name first. So we'll say equals B1, and then we'll do the and sign, and a quote. And in this case, we want to do a comma and a space, and then we'll end that quote. Uh, so that way, it'll do last name, and then it'll put a comma immediately after that last name, and then a space, and then we need to add the first name. So we'll do an and sign and A1. If we hit enter, <clears throat> you see that that data uh, uh, displays in the proper format. And if we want it for all of the rows, we could click and drag again. And it'll be there for all of the rows. Um, one other, uh, um, other thing that you can do is you can um, split data apart. Um, so for instance, uh, we have all of this data here, and sometimes you might want to uh, split it apart. You might want it in two cells as opposed to one. There's a really uh, quick, easy way to do that. <clears throat> Under the uh, data uh, menu item, there's something here that says split text to columns. Uh, so if we click on that, it's asking what the separator is. Uh, so what that means is what, what separates the uh, first piece of text that you want to um, separate from the second piece of text. It defaults to comma. So in this case, it's not a comma, but it would actually be a space. Uh, so if we click on space, uh, you'll see that it puts those uh, into two separate columns. If you wanted to do it for the whole column, uh, let's undo this by uh, clicking here. We can uh, click on the whole uh, column and then click on data and split text to columns, specify space, and it does it for the whole column just like that. Just as easily done uh, with uh, commas. So if this is what your data set looks like and you wanted that into multiple uh, cells, we can click the whole column. We can click on uh, data. And then we can click on split text to columns. And it'll immediately, uh, because the separator is comma, it uh, removes that comma and puts that text into two separate columns. Uh, I hope you found this tip. Uh, um, <laughs> I hope you found the tip uh, um, useful. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.